What's going on everyone? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you this awesome 58 and 13 support class gameplay. And better yet, this gameplay was obtained while I was playing against Sync. You know all that awesome, huge fan base, uh, very popular clan on Wii U, Clan Sync. They snipe a lot. They trick shot, I believe, and they are, of course, the most uh, among the most popular clans on Wii or at uh, Wii U now. And I was very happy to obtain this gameplay because, well, frankly, at the beginning, I was kind of getting my butt kicked by Sync because they are freaking elite snipers and snipers are when you think about it kind of OP I mean they're freaking one hit kill for the most part on not not really ever with me but that on top of freaking aim assist and uh, being easy and fast to fire with kind of makes it just the best weapon to use in terms of if you're a rusher a sniper is actually pretty damn good Unfortunately, uh, and I, I find it kind of funny, a lot of people thought that the Ballista with uh, Iron Sights was OP when they first saw the gameplay, but what most people don't realize is when you first see that gameplay, that's all, uh, I assume it's on a LAN connection, or I mean, they're all hooked up, connected to each other, so, I mean, you're not actually playing on a, on a server with some crappy host, it's actually a good connection throughout the entire game. So, obviously, when you're hitting these really easy quick, uh, quick scopes with no actual scope, you're going to get one-hit kills and no lag because you're not really lagging. If only this was true for this game. Hopefully, COD Ghost will have dedicated servers. I mean, come on. Battlefield 3 had it for consoles. Why can't, why can't you? Anyways, uh, so I'm kind of going off the charts here. What I want to talk about is using a support class offensively. Now, the one thing I noticed when I was playing against Sync is that they tend to use and depend on, uh, oh, I'm sorry, what's it called? Tactical insertions. They depend on that a lot. And I obviously notice this because I keep seeing them spawn, or uh, I kill someone, and I keep seeing them killing me constantly, even though I just killed them. Like, I just killed them, I spawn. Holy shit, they're back here already? They came from one side of the boat to the other side of the boat that quickly. Well, it was because they're using tack inserts. So I tried to use a, a try to be offensive here by using a shotgun. But what the best thing to do is... Oops, sorry about that. The best thing to do here... That'll fill in the gameplay in the background. My remote's not working. Um, so basically, I took out an engineer class. And I don't believe this is my anti... Everything class yet. This is just happens to be my shotgun class with engineer apparently, but I use my anti everything class, and that means anti air support, ground support, infantry, just about everything. You see equipment? I got EMP nades to destroy it. You see, uh, ground support, infantry, enemies. I got guns to shoot them with. And you see air support, I got Strella, or I don't know, I always forget what they named the launchers in whatever game it is. They just, yeah, it's just out of my head, I don't, I, I forget. But anyways, yeah, I actually managed to get all my kill streaks. I think twice, although I did kind of get a bit campy because I was worried of dying, of course. I wanted to uh, show Sync just how much of a boss I was, and uh, that's something that I tend to do is when I see people who I may know and who they might know me just to keep their expectations to get their expectations high of me or to impress them I will kind of try hard a bit just so they think that I'm actually good usually after you actually really get to know me I tend to not care anymore because you already know the real me you know, there's no point in trying to impress you. you know who I am and it doesn't really matter you know first impressions are important and that's why I, t I just tried to tear them a new one. I mean, I kept spawning. They kept being right there, killing me. And, yeah, they were kicking my butt. So I returned the favor. And throughout the entire game, I kicked their butt with my anti-everything class. And I just absolutely love what Black Ops 2 did with in terms of an anti-everything. I mean, I really love the Black Cat. That is the best thing ever hack care packages you could also use it to get your care packages you can use it to hack other equipment it is fantastic I really was actually disappointed that they didn't include hacker or the hacker 2 perk in this game because I thought 
or Hacker Pro, I mean, because it was really, really cool to hack equipment, hack care packages. Oops, you exploded. When you can still do it now, except it's not a perk. It's equipment so you can hack care packages and booby trap and stuff. It's just, I I love that perk and I love it even more as equipment. Sometimes I run dual uh, black cats and if I could run more, I would. I trust me, I would. And the reason I uh, the, I believe here I'm running EMP and black cat as I should because that's just the best combo because you get one black cat to hack whatever you might need to hack and an EMP to destroy whatever you may need to destroy now why not just use two black hats and or two EMPs well I actually could use and I, if I sacrifice possibly I don't know a perk or two I could probably have two black hats and two EMP grenades and that'll just make me even more anti everything but I kind of need those perks to not get killed by the enemies as uh, so I can actually go and destroy their stuff. However, if you can manage without perks at all, and I think I can manage. I mean, I did get that one gameplay where I went 57 and no uh, without perks. But, I mean, I, I just I like perks too much to give them up. And, I mean, if you can go ahead and run whatever perks you want or run no perks and go ahead and run as most equipment as you can because I got I got the black cat to hack care packages which is really fun and I mean I can toss an EMP grenade at a care pack it's not gonna do anything so I, that's why I have a black cat and an EMP grenade for two situations sometimes I can't throw and I, I know the EMP grenade can penetrate through walls and certain obstacles so you don't actually always have to be there and it's really great because sometimes I, I hear there's been a RCXD deployed and I just tend to throw it towards the middle of the map and I almost all the time just end up destroying it with a single EMP grenade even if it's not close that thing will penetrate through walls and just it'll annihilate any equipment there so it's it's usually very effective so I love the EMP grenade because it's, it gets things through walls and it's usually it'll take out more than one thing I also love the uh, black cat because it kind of let it, I feel like it's better. It has a, a longer range. It can destroy things at. So I, if I could, if I throw an EMP grenade inside the bottom of hijacked, it's probably not going to destroy too much technology upstairs. However, if I actually go and use my black hat, I can go ahead and hack whatever I'm actually trying to hack. Which is great. Or, for example, if I throw an EMP grenade and there's two attack inserts, it'll destroy two of them. What if I want to keep one alive and this, and kill anyone who spawns there? So it gives me that extra control that I'd love to have when playing uh, support of offense. And just with that and the actual launcher that I have as my secondary, I mean, my primary serves great for everything I need. I don't really need a secondary. And that's how I feel for actually the most of the entire entirety of this game. I mean, I only really use a B23R or other pistols because I want to and uh, to unlock camouflages, but otherwise I just prefer using my primary. There's no really reason, no attraction uh, for me, no incentive to actually go and use a secondary besides launchers because launchers destroy aircraft and sometimes Black Hat just takes too long. And I mean, you can't, I think you can destroy aircraft with the MP grenades. I can't recall if I did try that once. It just depends if it's slow enough. I, I've tossed some up towards a VTOL. I don't think it hit it though because it was too high. So there you go. Black Cat also serves to destroy aircraft. What if you only have two rockets and you already wasted two? You can go ahead and use your Black Cat to destroy another aircraft. And it's super beneficial when you're not running Ghost too. If you don't want to run a launcher, you can go ahead. If you don't want to run a launcher and go, and this is something that I tend to do a lot. If I'm not running Ghost, I tend to run a launcher with me, and or a Black Cat like that. If I'm running Ghost, I can go ahead and if I'm not running Ghost, I'm sorry. If I'm not running Ghost, I can go ahead and destroy any air support, any UAVs that may give away my location. So maybe they'll spot me for a second or two, but that's it. I'll destroy their UAV, and on top of that, not only am I not only am I just not hiding from UAV, I'm destroying it. And by destroying it, I'm getting even more points. So the reason I even did very well in this gameplay was because I played support very well. I destroyed their tack inserts. Sometimes I waited for them to spawn and then destroyed it just for that extra kill points. And then I destroyed the air support for even more points. So I just kept destroying their equipment, destroying their air support, and destroying them. And that's how I succeeded in this game and managed to actually down 
the Sink Clan. They are very, very good at sniping, and I still got my ass kicked most of the time throughout this game uh, with their quick scoping. But I managed to come out on top. You know, I was very happy too because I joined and I thought I was gonna get my ass handed to me the entire game, <laughs> but I managed to break through their front line and eventually we managed to turn the game around. And there you go, nice final kill count with the Warthog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe for more.